start the recording. Mm. Start the recording. Oh, hold on. Yeah. What was that? Well, like, oh, huh? hold on what? I'm gonna go get some coffee while we. God <laughs> fucking damn it! You... Should I just go with the recap? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes? Oh. I don't need it. I was there last week. Yeah, too bad he's not here this week. Well, one question. Where's my music? Oh, damn. <laughs> Talking shit. <laughs> Just immediately, hey, yo, DJ, where the fuck's my music? Mm, so, anyway, last time... Uh, everyone boarded the Umber Rose. Uh, Nim tried to get busy with one of the pirates. Uh, it turned out... No, he Nim like... just boarded. Don't add extra. Mm, yeah, I don't know. It, it seemed to be going a very, very particular direction. Uh, but anyway, uh, found out he likes rainbows. Um, Prince a classist, but who else is surprised? Yeah, right. uh, uh, I'm sorry? Ah, uh, pirates. Pirates. How dare they be pirate fucking dirty my, uh, my character arc last session, it's all coming back to me. My character arc last session was, hey, don't be classist. And he said, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on top of being classist, a very unchivalrous of the night to leave a lady on a dance floor so he could go pout. And what a night. <laughs> Just like... You want to dance with me? Oh, I guess. You know, everybody seems pretty friendly. They're stinky pirates. You're going to be. <laughs> um. Uh, Celeste also ate words and then tried to poison herself again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For a good cause. On, on magical grain alcohol. Yes. Quick to jump the gun. Uh, oh yeah. And then... We we left off on that cliffhanger. That's not a cliffhanger. Uh, well, yeah. We need the coffee gremlin to come back before we can oh, I've been back. do that. Oh, good. So. Oh, yeah, one other thing is don't forget that Prin decides to go dancing and spends the whole time looking at Samson. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you for reminding me. So on top of everything else... <laughs> you did it. Uh, you did it. <laughs> uh, did not get to dance with his homie. <laughs> um, oh, and oh. in fact... Even less becoming of a night, he forgot to kiss his homie goodnight. And that's just not allowed. Oh. That's fucked up. Yeah. yeah right before Definitely Valentine's Day, like too. Yeah, oh. right before Valentine's Day, didn't even say goodnight to Samson, didn't kiss his homie goodnight. Wow. Actually, we haven't actually gotten to go to sleep yet, so well, who knows? Bro, yeah, Maybe no. that can still happen. I can't, I can't sleep without a warm glass of milk and a kiss from my homie. <laughs> yeah. Well, after being stood up on the dance floor, I don't know. Would Celeste want to kiss from friend at this point? Or... Nah. No, nah, that's could not kiss my ass. <laughs> hey, some people enjoy that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we leave. Ass. And we leave the off. most important part. Hey, who's doing this recap here? Oh, uh, it's a group effort. <laughs> no I don't shit. know who. Is there someone here important enough to do that? You're right! Uh, Jay, yeah, hit us with that recap! <laughs> <laughs> I, I adjust, of course. The most important thing of all was, and I quote, So, Sufran, I need you to do me a big favor. And now I pass it off to the one and only Sanson J. Merrymaker to act us in to, what is this, session five? I'm losing count. Man, I don't fucking know. It's session yeah, it's, five. Yeah, it's session five. Yeah, I must I don't it. take notes, but I write pretty much the session that we're on. I don't and know. I just to... draw lines to denote new sessions. I don't. All My right. notes are all one blob. All right, I Mr. Varesis. Hit us with that walk-in. All right. All right. So <laughs> right as so Samson is staring Sufrin like right in the eye like goggles off, hat off like hat out of the way poncho just, off just... no, no I'm not trying to seduce him well, yeah. I was, you have a shirt under your poncho oh the poncho's coming off it's a pretty off. tight shirt, Whoa. he looks good in it <laughs> 
Oh. So, so Fran is just in like Sanson's view. He's just so desperately just looking at Sufren. We might need something more intense for this. Maybe. Did someone just Maybe leave? Not. I heard the disconnect sound. It was like it echoed through someone's microphone. It sounded like. Yep, I'm still here. Had no one said anything, I would have been like, ah, it is me. I have been kicked out. <laughs> yeah, we kicked you. Yeah, I have a feeling that things are about to turn real quick. Ah, yes, we'll just get the fucking... <laughs> we'll get the interrogation music. Ah. Uh, yeah. This might be a little... Hey, it's intense, you ask. Yeah, that is intense. Uh, alright. Well, floor is yours, Mr. Merrymaker. <clears throat> Let me get some water. <laughs> the floor is it. yours. Leaves the floor. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Two friend, I need a favor from you. <laughs> you seem to be in uh, very familiar with this maiden. From everything you've told us. While we're heading to Zanzibar, do you think that you could bring someone to her to get healed? He kind of like cocks his head and he's like, and he thinks on it for a second. And you see him kind of doing like loose math calculations with his fingers. I'm not entirely sure. It's going to take at least two weeks for me to get back to Evanglow along with the rest of the fleet. And judging by what you're saying, I can only assume that this is dire. It's not a no, but I need more information. In, in the capital city, there's a woman and... I need you to in any way that you can for me just bring her to this maiden her name is uh, it's Dahlia Merrymaker it's my mom mm. as he kind of just folds his hands a little do you know what she has no never found out I'm not much of the, uh, knowing type or stuff like that. Has she seen any kind of doctor yet? Yeah, she's with her brother, my, my uncle, um, in the capital city. It's actually the reason why I'm, I'm even here. I heard that this pays well, and well, all the money I've been getting has been going for her treatment. How long would you say, roughly, she's been afflicted? Hmm, I've been at this since I was still a teenager. Say about six years? Yeah, and he doesn't quite, like, really tighten his hands, but he starts fiddling them with a little. Well, fiddling them a little. What's her status? Movable? She's not movable. Well, she can still move around. She still writes. She can walk for a little while. Um, as far as I know, the worst it get, as far as she tells me, I haven't been home in a while, as you can imagine. He knows. Is it? It's mainly just coughs and fevers, and, and sometimes she can't even get up. Oh, she has dying anime mom syndrome. Oh no! 
Does she wear her hair in a low side ponytail? How'd you know? Specifically on the left. <laughs> that could be the problem. <laughs> the hair is cutting off circulation to her brain and lungs. <laughs> okay, go on. Oh, see what I can do, Mr. Merrymaker, but it seems like she's at least stable. I can't exactly promise that the maiden will jump at the opportunity. Not that she really turns anybody away, but uh, it's not exactly like I go over to her for tea and crumpets every Sunday. As he makes kind it's of every like Thursday. a loose and gesture. Every other Sunday? Um, as you see him kind of look a little nervous. Um... Well, without saying too much, the maiden is not exactly overly fond of people who are, in her eyes, in the business of killing. As he kind of just looks to you, hoping you kind of get his point. She won't turn anybody away, but, you know, she treats a lot of soldiers, lived through a lot of wars... She doesn't typically like looking at us more than she has to. But I doubt that she'll turn away a person if she has the opportunity. Don't expect anything too rapid, though. Like I said, it's a two-week trip back. Even then, acquisitions have to be made, requisites have to be signed, and she'd have to agree to it in the first place. It could take a few weeks, maybe even a month. I've already paid forward most of uh, what I pay for her treatment. That's where, that's where the money the king gave us went to. But I, I understand it's... But more than coin, it's more about I'm, time. I'm, I, I know. I, I've done everything I can to make sure that my mom is taking care of where she is for at, at least long enough to cover this trip however long it'll be and I ain't as you know I'm not one to leave things up to chance so I'm not expecting a miracle but after what you told me I can't just sit here and do nothing I understand the request also not the first person to ask of her service when her service is understood. I will attempt to get through all the work I have when I get back as quickly as possible and I will try to convince her. Like I said, we do have a history, but um, as he kind of scratches his temple, I don't think she'd throw me out too fast. Needless to say, I will do my best. And I hope that's Honest, enough. If I, if I could be the one to deliver her, I would, but you as you have... know, we have uh, more pressing matters. And very important matters at that. Speaking of, you should probably go get some rest. Captain, you said we would be, um, in port. Oh, in port. Aye. Yes, so. You shouldn't fret about this. Let it be known that what can be done will be done. I guess that's the best I can really ask for. Thank you, Sufran. Mr. Merrymaker? Nancy turns his attention back towards the captain. Also, Celeste is still in the room, right? Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh, am I? Yeah, yeah. yeah all so. four of you. Didn't oh, I forgot. I thought I was gone. Yeah, y'all, y'all just started like y'all just barely finished the ceremony before <laughs> Samson just like started disrobing. Like, cool bottle, homie, and dips. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're still in, in the middle of the whole bottle ceremony. Samson just got his opportunity to sink his teeth in. 
Mm. As he does. I don't know if I have much to say then about all that. <laughs> You're a person with flaws and not just a jerk sometimes. Interesting. Yeah, I'm like thinking about helping him, but you know, I got my own shit to do. I got my own shit to do. I got to kill people. I got to save people. And then other people. So I have something I want to do before, like, we get to Zanja Zanzibar. Yeah. So let me know when their talk is over. Yeah. Well, as far as I remember, you're still outside on the deck. Or I don't remember yeah. when you went. I know Prin went downstairs. I know Hiala and you should still be on the deck. Uh, Hiala went off to Sulk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Still Sulk. angry. The Sulk siblings, Prin and Hiala. Hiala went off to Sulk. You know, but differently from the rest of every other moment. The, the three Sulk Migos, Prin, Hyala, and Celeste, just a roulette wheel of who's sulking at what time. I'm not sulking, I'm brooding. Not oh, yeah, brooding. <laughs> brooding. I'm brooding, sulky, and judgy. Together they form the Mean Girls Club. <laughs> to the, yeah, Prin together, is, we're going Prin to is easily fun. one of the Mean Girls. Together yeah. they form oh, Angstatron. <laughs> They form oh Angstatron. Can just ask someone why they're a pirate? <laughs> 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 Alright, that's pretty good. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Um, any words, Celeste, for the room? Uh, so. no, not really. I'm just giving, like, a, an apologetic look at Samson. <laughs> Puppy, uh, kitty, uh, Kitten eyes, act two. Slightly, slightly drunken, or not slightly drunken, drunken uh, kitty eyes. <laughs> oh, Samson, yeah. She, she... Sam Samson remembers that you're in the room. He's like, oh, right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Celeste disassociated the entire talk. Yeah. We're sorry, are you saying something? <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> um, and before I go, ah, I'm too tired from all this. Uh, Captain, can I speak to you before we uh, head on to land tomorrow? You're not going to ask me to drive you all the way to Verisus, are you? <laughs> nah, I don't want to become a criminal by ignoring the king. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Although, I don't really like that guy, so... I mean nothing, Sue Fran. I didn't say a word. He, he just, like, <laughs> looks at you and is like... Why do these children hate the king? <laughs> yeah, it, it gives you a so... bit of a cock eye from that, but chooses to ignore it, because... I, I go to say something, and then I see uh, Sue Fran's reaction, and I stop. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, dog. Me too. Royal orders are royal orders, and all that jazz. Uh... No, I was thinking that you might be interested in a little trade. A Help little. Out. A, a little try? Mm -hmm. Ooh. What could you have that I want? It's not a jar of dirt, is it? <laughs> as he gets like mm -hmm. a happy, as he gets a big smile on his face. Well, no, actually it was two. <gasps> two you know, jars of one. dirt! <laughs> wow! <laughs> As Sir Fred kind of like looks at the cabin and is like, all right, well, I think I'm going to head to bed, but not before he reaches across and grabs the bottle and stuffs it securely into his jacket. Pleasant dreams, all. Make sure you rest well and don't stay up too late. As he exits the captain's quarters. No. <laughs> I, I will no try. Promises. Now, Captain, you should, you made it very clear today that all this coin I got on me doesn't seem to count for nothing. I mean, At least not on the shores of Zanzibar. It matters to me. <laughs> what did he say? He said it matters, matters to, to me. Him. Well, that's exactly why I'm, that's exactly why I'm coming to you. You seem to have quite a few uh, things on board. Here, maybe oh, like hey. a a bottle or a case or several. 
You want to pawn that off to me for some gold? Gonna need something to barter once we hit shore, won't I? He, he thinks on it for a second. He's like, So, you want to barter with me for the stuff that you're going to use to barter with them? As he points, like, in the general direction of where the horizon would be. Well, yeah. <laughs> he, he starts like looking like, back and forth, trying to piece it, piece and piece it all together. He, he's kind of <laughs> giving a thousand yard stare, and he's like stroking his chin. All right, I'm not a scoundrel, despite what some people might believe. So I figure I should point it out. You understand most of the cargo on this ship. Is provisions for the poor, right? You'd be trading mm. for me the things I'd already be trying to give to them anyway, so it's hard to see how that might be a eh? how 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 and he looks at Celeste, how are them smart folks saying uh counterintuitive? Uh no. yes, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, that's the one who can't speak common very well. <laughs> hey, she just looks like a book learning type to him. No, He's not wrong. You're not exactly wrong. It's not like I'm expecting you to give it to me for free. And you're already planning on using some gold to pick up more provisions. So what's a little bit more gold in your pocket to do so? It's just a delayed delivery in order to help me out. <laughs> well, besides the fact that I like you, why would I help you out? Do you need another reason? I like you, Captain. <laughs> yes, I would think so. <laughs> As he gives a little blush and yep. does a falsely <laughs> cutesy pose. Oh, now you just <laughs> buttering me up, aren't you? <laughs> oh dear. Let, let's just say... Uh, as different as our cultures may be, I see a little Varisid in you, and you're pretty much the only one on the sea I think I can have a full-on conversation with. He looks over at Celeste and kind of, like, gives, gives her, like, an olive branch-like hand gesture. Sorry, lass, but I think I've smoothed on him a little more. He actually likes talking to me. <laughs> Well, it all depends on what you think you can carry. There's a lot of cargo on the ship in there. Uh... The fuck did that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are you it thinking, bonded. then? I'm, I'm looking really confused. I'm going to look at <laughs> Samson and kind of like, huh? I, I'm I, I'm being a businessman and not breaking eye contact with my, with my client right now. Samson is Daddy's currently doing uh, business. Samson is currently occupied in another quest. <laughs> quest I see. Booty. No, not that booty. Well, how Don't. much do you think you're willing to spend, and or slosh a hyphen comma carry? Well. Hmm. Uh, give me a sec to do the numbers. I'm not exactly a, uh, the school type, so this might take a while. I'm gonna roll my eyes when he says that again. <laughs> <laughs> Once we hit the sand of Zanzibar, he's gonna be like, so I've got those numbers, let's talk specific. <laughs> <laughs> I carried the team. <laughs> How's about, um... Uh... I mean, I think I have the capacity to carry about four, eight hundred pounds. Huh? <laughs> you got a sled parked under a poncho of yours? Oh, the bag of holding, right. Mm. Yeah, as he kind of just looks you up and down wondering... In what crevice you're going to cram four to eight hundred pounds of material? <laughs> well, you see, I, I got more than just a pair of guns on me as he, like, flexes. 
can't believe you've done this. But he reaches over to put a hand on on Samson's shoulders. Forgive me for asking this, Lord, but uh, you didn't take any packing tips from Johnny now, did you? Don't trust that, Lord. Please, for my sake. Regardless also, of my matters, Captain, as apparently... Also, what? Nim also has a bag of holding, which yeah, I, I think she would I have was... mentioned. Okay. Oh, I know. What about... Anyway. <clears throat> Discord froze. Okay, I'm back. Re responding oh, to back. his thing. Thank you. His yeah. statement, rather. Nope. Don't worry, Captain. Regardless of my manners, just know that I'm good for, like, the heavy lifting part. I guess it's all just a matter of how much you're willing to sell to me. It depends on what you're willing to buy. Hmm. What are you selling? <laughs> what, what are you, are you buying? buying? <laughs> oh, that'll fetch a high price. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We're gonna hmm. be here all day now. <laughs> nope. Getting you know, in the bud. I'm, I'm thinking, like, the, uh, non-perishable types, you know, if you can spare any liquor. Any, like... I don't know. You're the one with the provision, Captain. Uh... Sparing the liquor to treat wounds, correct? And I'm gonna give him a side eye. Oh, oh yes, to treat all of the wounds. All of the wounds that we will definitely not be inflicting, because we are here on a peace mission. Oh, well... A uh, biological hey, expedition in Zanzibar uh, uh, is still uh, dangerous. Yeah, hey, shut up. As that slips out of your mouth, the captain kind of just stares at you. I ain't joking. Remember I'm... what I said, boy? Oh, I remember, but the problem is, is that I was the only one of my group who was there for that. And then he just nudges, he like, nudges his head at Celeste. I had no intention to hurt anybody. I. What? Yeah, see, this one's a healer. Oh, yeah, all right. She sure looks like a healer. Yeah, see, I... look. Yes, I am. And I'm going to, I'm going to, like, hold my rock up and it's going to glow gold. I, I do, do the healing, as they say. You know what? I'm even willing to show you that's true. As, like, a sign of faith. You going to stab your hand? Oh, um, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll do it. Don't do it. I'll shoot do it. it. Don't yeah, do it. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot, pull out my gun and hold it up to my head. <laughs> I just scream. Pulls the chair, screams persona. If you do it, I if you do it, I will not heal you. What? Yeah, that is stupid. What is it like a limited amount? Do the, the stars have to align for you to get that healing back? Or no, it's just a statement. Yes, yeah, statements aren't important. Anyway. Anyway, Lord. I'm going to take a holler. One. Next time. <laughs> One. I am a pirate. You don't use liquor to claim wounds. You drink liquor so that you forget about the wounds. Two. Yeah, I'm with him. You get septus. Two. Eats dark as hell, and I really don't feel like crawling through the provisions, so we'll do it when we hit I... port. Exactly, that's what I was getting to. I was just trying to gauge your interest in this little trade. Three! I'm not selling you food, because it'd break my heart to think that somebody would hang food over poor people's heads for a barter. I ain't... Listen, food? That's fine. They can eat as much as they want. Anywho. Oh, and the obvious. I'm not selling you munitions. As he kind of just unfolds his arms and points at you. You want that right. You better earn it. And you don't earn it with coin. You earn it from auctions. We're shooting down the hydro flask with a Let's do some bomb not enough. <laughs> I mean, it didn't do jack shit. <laughs> It was a start. It made him like hit. It made him like Samson out of the rest of you a little bit more. But like, you know, so hard to please. 
I, I, like, multiple hundreds of feet away, the only thing he really managed to see was a flash of green and a tiny little black speck fly through the air and a small <laughs> pop. <laughs> he didn't exactly get to see your exploits in high-definition 64-inch plasma screen TV. 4K. Lame. This is yeah. why he should have been rich, like Prince. Yeah, he should have He should have just... upgraded to Xfinity. Yeah, there was a great Black Friday <laughs> deal he could have got on. This yeah, been sponsored if, by yeah, if he was as Don't rich say as that. if he was as rich as Brent, he would have been able to just sit there and you know <laughs> suggest that he helped. Uh, um, listen, I ain't, I ain't here for munitions. I ain't here for food. I'm just trying to see if I might get something to help us barter and make you know make a few friends. Get a few contacts in this new area. We ain't really got a uh, much but the clothes on our backs. And wherever you're gonna keep the four to eight hundred pounds. But as he starts yeah. like looking Celeste up and down to try and figure out if she's where he's going to be storing it. No. <laughs> I, again, don't don't worry about that much. You're a weird one, you know what? Uh, Eh, was that to me or all... him? <laughs> no, that was to Samson. Okay. People come in all times. No, <laughs> oh, they do. Just wait until you see your beautiful Sansa bar. I am surely looking forward to it. Me as well. Oh, anyway, you heard your stick in the mud. Go get some sleep. I got drinking, did you? As he like. Gets up, goes over to a barrel, cracks it open, and starts slurping right from the hole. Oh. Alright, I'm okay, leaving. That's so terrible. It always comes with its own ladle. That's just um, so easy. I'm leaving. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do like a 180 swivel and just walk out. After seeing that. I look at, like, the bottle of whiskey that I've been drinking and be like, yeah, can I get a bit of a little fill-up? Oh, yeah, sure. And he takes the bottle, kind of, like, tamps it into where the cork hole was, and then just turns the keg upside down so that the uh, whiskey fills up the bottle again. And Thank then you. I'm gonna never drink out of that bottle. That's disgusting. They're okay. pirates! I mean, at least he didn't Transfer it with his mouth. <laughs> yeah, it still contaminated the entire barrel. It's alcohol. Yeah. I stand by what I said. If he if he transferred it with his mouth, I probably would have just passed it off to one of you. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, like you literally can't contaminate alcohol with germs. It's an antiseptic. I don't nope, care. It's gross. Any whoms. They're also pirates! What did you expect? Uh, I didn't uh, expect him drinking it straight out of the barrel. Get a damn mug or something. Ah, yes. Right? Just high, not a smaller barrel. High society at its finest first bro, high society, Bro, you drink in the retention pond and be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> oh. I go I go to the store and, and buy some bottled water and like, oh, just drink it from the retention pond. I thought you were going to say just take it from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's so gross. Thank you, Captain. Have a good one. Bye. Just, to, just take the bottle with me and head out. And last you see, he sits back down with his, like, mini barrel and just, you know, he's drinking. He's so, drinking. Uh, as I head out, I'm, I'm, like, hoping to catch up to Celeste. I'm not walking that fast. You can't. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> hey, uh, Celeste. Mm-hmm? Do you mind keeping all of that I said there on the down low? Down low where? Don't use idioms, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you calling an idiom? <laughs> oh. Who are you oh, calling yeah. pinhead? I'm you dirty know. dead. You know, don't, don't go uh, talking about it to anyone. Oh, I 
I then would again, not. Knowing you, you probably wouldn't. I just want to make sure. I You're, do you not know how they like, would use that information. You never seemed like the type to just say secrets willy nilly. But nope. I'm just I'm just here for some assurance. <laughs> well, consider yourself insured. All I ask. By all good. <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by Allstate. She just extends out her hand and is like, that'll be five gold. <laughs> it's free. No, the first first trial is free. You have a 60-day free trial, so we hope you join us for more. Can he sign up under a different e uh, email? No. <laughs> we'll find you. You sound too convincing as, like, an ad reader. <laughs> I'm really good with words. Thank you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. I... Alright. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Full like stop. Hold on. Funny. Full stop. Oh. Shay, I'm gonna need you to roll a deception check. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, that's all right. Well, automatic fail. No. <laughs> yes. Okay, moving on. Yeah. All right, well, that's all I had to ask of you. Yeah. Have a good night, Celeste. Thank you, you too. I'm going to wait. Is he not going in the direction of the, the bunks? Oh, I'm right. heading straight to the direction of the bunks. Well, me too, so we're walking together still. <laughs> mm. I feel oh, like he just power walk. You say goodbye and then keep walking. So yeah, me. after you say that, I'm just gonna like keep looking <laughs> at you like, uh, am I missing something? I mean, I, was, I just assumed I walked faster than you, so. Sure, if you want to. I have a 35 move speed. Motherfucker, actually. power walking. <laughs> <laughs> Power walking and power drinking. So Celeste also <laughs> goes under the deck to the bunks, right? Yeah, I'm asleep. Or well, I'm. Are the bunks just in the water? Yes. I have nowhere Apparently. else but the surface of this boat to put people that are off the map. So you just okay. throw them off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. You're sleeping in Davy Jones's locker. Oh. Why is this jock strap in here? <laughs> because it's Davy Jones's locker, not Davy Jones. I'm getting Jones's bullied. I've been closet. shoved into Davy Jones' locker. It's seasoning. I'm being sea bullied. That's gross. Anyway, you're so, welcome. Nim pulls out the history book that Sue Fring gave her, and she's gonna re take another look see at it. And because I know it's nighttime, Nim will cast dancing light. So she can do the thing called read. And this time, I'm gonna look for the terrain of Zanzibar. Um, what would that? That'd be an investigation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Give me an investigation at the base. Well, you, with a little bit of luck in the parts where Zanzibar and Avrindal's history cross over, you see mentions of, you know, the biomes, but you don't really get much more than that. <laughs> A large portion of it is, uh, hold on, I gotta go to my map, because even I have trouble remembering. Uh, a large portion of it is split almost completely evenly between grasslands and savannah, with the next largest chunk, of course, being the Desert of Zanzibar. Also, funnily enough, nicknamed the Sands of Zanzibar. The Sands of Iron. Zanzibar. I was gonna say that, damn it. <laughs> but there's also only two noted rainforests and a strip of wetland more towards the South Peninsula. But as for usefulness of to what you're doing, probably isn't going to play 
any kind of connective puzzle piece game until you actually get there because the book is largely based on Avrindal. Because it is an Avrindal history book. All right. But if it is of any interest, uh, no one's ever actually managed to so much get onto Zanzibar. These are kind of just observations from the water, from as close as you can gather. And they're still kind of, you know, written as myth and legend because, again, uh, nobody actually manages to survive getting out of there. We're gonna die. So it's kind of just, you know, a little bit. you could assume that this might be true or it might just be placated history. Talked up, talked down. It's still a land of mystery. It's a land down under. I come from a land down under. It's such a good song. Alright, that was Can't like go, okay. my um, only question. Any Avrindal specific question. questions for the book? I. Repeat that? Is there any Avrindal specific questions for the book on Avrindal? Why does Avrindal think that they can just change the direction of north? Like, who decided that? <laughs> you want to look through the book and see if you can figure out why the map of Evangol has a weird compass? Yes. Do it. <laughs> oh, It's too dark! It's both too dark and you're trying to look through all these pages, but you have very little direction. Because you decided not to either check the index or the table of contents. A dancing light spell went off while I was reading. Lost concentration. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. You remember? I'm glad it did because it was having it was having remember? making me have trouble sleep. You remember how? Not above. You you remember how irritating the map was, and you lost concentration due to your rapid flipping through the pages, wanting to answer your question of why the compass is in the dumb location. <laughs> or rather, orientation. Any other questions for the big book? I once again see if Xantex has a, any described attributes in the book. That, that's still going to be an investigation. Oh, I was just hoping for a yes or no, so I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. I want the dice to say. Nope. The, the dice say no. The dice say you can't find anything because you're looking now in the dark. <laughs> and with two disappointments in a row, Nim closes the book and heads to bed. To bed, she heads. Yeah. Um. So she actually she wanted to see what she can or if she can like do anything else with this amulet. So she's just while sitting on the deck in some corner, uh, she 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 pulls out the amulet and holds it and I guess as a first experiment sees if she can like expand the area of cold at all. Uh. <laughs> Roll me an arcana. Let's see if you have enough magical aptitude to do that. Yes, you do. Though, you don't really notice it. At first, you're kind of trying to make the amulet become big size. And it's <laughs> only when you kind of like hear a little like crunching sound you look over at the cannon next to you and see little bits of ice flurries forming on the cold metal so clearly it's extending past your body all right are you going to continue to try and make it become big size um hmm. freeze the boat <clears throat> well no she's she's not trying to cause She's just trying to see what the extent of the powers of this thing are. Since since her friend told her, like, oh yeah, this can pretty much do ice magic. She's like, well, 
I should see what kind of ice magic I can do just with this rock. So... Hmm. Can't make it to Zanzibar, so it's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oops, I froze the ocean. Sorry, guys. Well, we'll have I to guess walk. we're just gonna have to walk. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's see. I also guess it depends on how much magical aptitude Kiala has in the first place. She's she's far from like a magical expert. Like she's not a, specifically a spellcaster by any means, but she's got like a little power, and she's seeing if this thing can amplify it or make it colder. Well, like magic go have spell casting. So what you're saying is magic go burr. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> magic, magic go go burr magic go burr especially <laughs> I'm just imagining one of those like other pirates like comes walking by and slips on the ice and just goes burr <laughs> so uh, she will uh, stop that test and next she will uh, she'll plot her rapier and she'll see if there's anything she can do to like imbue it with ice magic and You're she just has gonna, no idea how to do this. You're just gonna <laughs> tap the fucking blade against the crystal. <laughs> yeah, she probably looks really dumb to anyone who knows how to use magical items, but she's just like, clink, clink. And like, like trying a to kid with two action magic. figures making them kiss. <laughs> uh, do you have any like tool proficiency things you could like roll for this? Uh, if I do, I never added them. You, you, you just do rangers clink. have anything? I don't know. Or would do you is there any that you think a cat person who lives in very cold places would have? I mean, uh, depending on your background. Yeah, I mean, she'd she'd probably be decent with just like very simple tools, like use rock as hammer. Let me let me just take a caveman okay, shit. Cause, Cause I don't know. Unga, unga. You're just taking this rapier and clinking it against the rock. So. Well, I mean, she's she's like she's trying to do it magically, but she's just, in her mind it's like, well, what? it's closer together. She's <laughs> rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub. Magically banging these rocks together. <laughs> I hope not banging and more so gentle tapping so she doesn't, like, you know, oh, cut yeah, it in she half. Won't, she, won't, she won't damage her sword and she won't damage the, the amulet, but she just she's doing things. Roll me an investigation check to see if your 6th grade science project starts yielding any kind of uh-oh. And now she's hot. Amulet broke. No. No, that's not one. What am I, a, a bad DM? No, that, Amulet that's machine a, broke. That That's a skill check. That's, that machine wouldn't even there. matter. It would matter if she rolled snake eyes. Remember last yeah. session? Because we started fucking roll, rolling double crits and double fails. I'm just like, well, you know, if you're going to do it that badly, then you have to suffer. <laughs> Kiala's <laughs> not scary to say. <laughs> so, you're just clinking them lightly together, but nothing happens. So, perhaps increasing the frequency would, you know, <laughs> result in some kind of thing to happen. But, basically, all that ends up being the case is there's just the sound of rapping and tapping, just... <laughs> now, now considering she's like right over the, the the port, like the hole, would would any of us hear that? Oh yeah, at this point she's just like, so everybody's just gonna hear this like little tapping. <laughs> Everybody that's in the boat, which is quite a number of people, <laughs> <laughs> the whole boat's just like, what is the cat doing? Is this a cat thing? I don't hey, care. Shut up no. out there. I'm vibing. Does Samson say that in character? Oh hell yeah. Uh she she pauses, does it three more times, and then stops. <laughs> <laughs> and it was dead to the world, like great Good. sleeping. Just Man, you guys just really want to kill off me and my characters. No, it's just Hiala. I love Nim. Hiala doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hiala doesn't like any of us. No, yeah. that's not true. 
She Bella, just doesn't like I'm Nim because different towards Nim... everyone except Nim. Yeah, Nim dared to ask. Prince is adorable. Nim oh. dared. <laughs> he all thinks Prince is adorable. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah he baby. Little bro. Little he baby bro. He baby. I mean, you are any bro who needs who needs. A... Huh? Yeah, you're a little late. <laughs> exactly. You're shorter than her. You're the little brother. Huh? Little brother. You're, all, you're uh, also who? younger than her. Hey, you're who? also. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you are younger than her by quite a bit. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. You are the baby brother. And shorter. Shorter, <laughs> younger, less well tempered. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Yes, you're very big and scary, Prince. It's okay. Now go to sleep. <laughs> Would you like a warm bottle of milky? <laughs> he doesn't even like milk. Some Pringles. Oh yeah, no Dragon is shorter than Yala. I forgot. Are they? <laughs> Wait, really? No. no. That'd, That'd be funny. funny. That'd be great. I mean, lizards don't make milk. They have no reason for the. <laughs> yeah, they make egg out human. <laughs> Come here, baby, and mommy give you a human. Yummy, yummy. Anyway, <laughs> Hiala taps on it three more times out of spite. Then what? Oh uh, yeah. So, um, she she decides to uh, pause her experimentation for the day. Maybe she'll ask Celeste for some advice later. But for now, she's just gonna curl up on the deck. Sleep. Snuggled up to next to her cannon. Yeah, and she's just using the cannon as a pillow, as one does. <laughs> now you got me thinking that she's just curled up like a cat on top of the cannon. I believe it. <laughs> no, she's sitting next to it and leaning. Oh, she's it. in the cannon. I got you. Yeah. Cat when we get to Zanzibar, we launching her on on the shore. <laughs> All right, we can get in much inland much quicker. <laughs> just blow us out the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll aim it. So everyone goes to sleep? I'm sleeping. Prin's already sleeping? Prin been sleeping. Grumpy uh, baby sleeping? No. <laughs> uh, he's, he's been awake. I mean, he's like laying down, but he's not. He's like, he's lying there. Seething. <laughs> no. Just well, huffing and puffing little embers out of his nostrils. You know how in <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, I know one of you guys would get it. Vegeta's like he's just laying there, prostrate <laughs> in, in the water. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. like what he's doing right now. Wow, a reference I understood. Hell yeah! I don't get Woo! it. What? Oh, we gotta uh, wait. I just find the image. Hold on. Oh, Why you guys do that? Yeah, sorry, Stride. It's too much of a weave for me to understand. I'm a weave. <laughs> That's fucking crazy! I know, right? Who would have thought? I bow to <laughs> Bro, I'm about to rock him to sleep. <laughs> Hush, little pranny, don't no. say a word. So, wait, how I close are these cops to each other again? <laughs> Yeah, how close are they actually? Uh, scrunched. No. Okay, so you're, you're bumping you... elbows with somebody, no matter where you are. <laughs> you just like Samson's arm is just across Prince's torso. Is he just? <laughs> Especially how he crawled in the bed after Prin. Yeah. <laughs> well, cause Prin's been awake. Yeah. Got his late night cuddle. Oh. I'm like as as like tight as I could be in my in my bed. Samson's already asleep. We have confirmation. He did not kiss the homie goodnight. I repeat. What a fucking bastard! Kiss no, the that's homie goodnight. True. That's not true. I did okay. take a sip out of that bottle. Lizards that don't bottle have lips. Homie. Can they even kiss? Ooh! Don't they ever just, talk like, to me about that bullshit kiss. ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe not so much kiss. Maybe like nip. That's that's good enough. <laughs> kissing your kissing your homies is universal. 
Don't yeah. you dare suggest otherwise. <laughs> There's no universal constant other than kissing your homie. <laughs> well, I don't know. That kind of looks like a beak to me. Maybe he pecks his homies. I mean, peck is a synonym. Do for if kiss. we if we kiss friend, do we get salmonella? He's not a fucking dirty. You can't kiss birds or or reptiles. He's not a dirty pond turtle. What? Anyway, he's not a dirty pond turtle. You just found in a fucking puddle. He's a reptile. When you kiss Prin, you have to roll to see if a fly flies into your mouth. That's vile. What the fuck? All right, let's all kiss Prin. No. All right, come here. Come here, homie. <laughs> Come here. Before we can level up, we all have to kiss Prin. <laughs> you gotta kiss. It, you gotta kiss the. Fro you gotta kiss the prince in order to level up. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, Prin is just. He's like trying to sleep, but as the time, literally, as time goes by on these fucking ships, it's getting hard for him to sleep. So, like just laying there. He eventually will sleep, but it's gonna take a while. I like to imagine me and me and Printer laying next to each other both just staring up at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listening yeah. to Samson snore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeehaw. I will try. Good. Just, Celeste's just going meditate to, for him. Celeste is going to attempt schlieb. I'm gonna schlevitate. <laughs> schlevitate. <laughs> All right. Let's get some morning music up in here so we don't wake up in the morning to fucking blood curdling. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> Freaking go! Let's go! Uh, give me one second. <laughs> one. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Uh, hydration check? <laughs> Fuck! He failed the check. So while you're all hydration, I'll go get snow outside for you. So while you're all lying some more comfortably than others in your overstuffed crew quarters, you are all very abruptly shook back to consciousness by the loud and piercing yell of Land Ho my Queens No. I'm gonna shoot up immediately. Tim is still asleep. As the rest of the ship just erupts in a, a raucous roar. Have you guys ever seen the video of the guy like getting out of bed without moving his legs or anything? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm just swoop. How do you do that? I don't know what video you're talking about. I don't know, but a man did it, and I'm proud of him. Fair enough. <laughs> but... Real American hero. Yeah. Suddenly, I mean, the sound Larry, of Larry. boots hitting the deck with a feverish fervor kind of like starts to shake everything. Not necessarily the boat, but like the floor is, is rattling a little because everybody's now moving at mock speed. Uh, there are indeed pirate crewmen climbing over top of the five of you to get out from over you. Well, four of us. Well, yeah, Celeste is up, but, you know, there's no, movement. Kala's on the deck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Yeah, how does Kala react with her, you know, 20 roll hearing? <laughs> you don't have to roll, uh, just, like, roll play it. I mean, same, same, same thing that happened when Celeste tapped on the deck, her ear twitches a little, and then she just sits up. With all that noise, that's actually impressive. 
<laughs> I would have thought she would have shot a couple feet into the air. <laughs> she, she's not very easily startled. She's... Like when you put a... Is Yala afraid of cucumbers? What? <laughs> <laughs> they have this thing where cats are afraid of cucumbers. Yeah, they are. For some reason. Because they look like snakes. No, I... If you want, I can actually explain to you what happens. Don't, don't break the illusion. That is because they look like snakes and they don't want to die. No. It has everything to do with the fact that cats do not like being snuck up on because they are predators. So two things happen in those situations to create it. One, cat dishes are notoriously placed against the wall. They really shouldn't be. They should be placed wide enough so that the cat can actually put its butt to the wall because they're more comfortable like that. But because everybody just feeds cats the same way you'd feed a dog, cats kind of just adjust naturally. And two, everybody sneaks up quietly, as quietly as they can, and they place an object that the cat didn't see before. So if the cat doesn't stare, it's because it realizes that its owner's behind it, and it's like, yeah, whatever, they're just moving. But when it turns around cat. and sees suddenly there's just something there that wasn't, it's like, where the fuck did this come from? So they freak the fuck out, because it's like, you're not supposed to be there. How did you get past my ear defenses? How did I not hear you coming up on me? <laughs> just imagine a cat's easy, just pick a rick! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, which is why some cats will actually turn around and attack it, because it's like, this thing must be living. Because it fucking moved! Because it wasn't here! Cats are too dumb to know that thumbs work. Yeah, they, they don't understand thumb. They don't have right. Every Everywhere I'm looking, it says because they look like snakes. Also, you are right, but they are afraid because they think it's a snake sneaking up on them. Uh, sure, you can go with the internet. That works well, too. All right, let's get back to the interesting stuff of this game where we roll dice and pretend. We roll dice? So, no. no. Yeah, everybody wakes the hell up because there is a scream, a shout, and noise levels have reached their zenith. I'm asleep through it. Bastard. There we are! No. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess the hell would fucking not waking up from a screaming crowd be? You could wake up, you could just lay in bed. Well, they're specifically saying sleep through it. Constitution? Yeah, I'm guessing that'd be a constitution saving throw. Or like, per, like fail a perception check. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. Yay, yeah, fail fair it. enough. Roll me perception. Right. That's a good one. I, purpose, I purposely fail my perception check. No. Is that a thing you could do? <laughs> I, you can choose to fail things. Uh, yeah, how how bad a fail a are we talking? Not that one. I'll say it was a five. Yeah. I rolled a five as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. You managed to continue to, like, be in bed. Uh, anybody who actually decided to wake up want to do something? Um, I'm just on the deck and I'm going to peek over and see the land. Where do I got to be? I got to be at the front of the ship. I'm moving to the front of the ship. And as you peer out, you see white sandy uh, beach that leads up to quite the run down, put together little port. For somebody from Oceanish, the first thing you might think of is this is a port but you know there is a dock there is clearly a place for a ship to go and then beyond what you can see just past the beach and the buildings is just marsh just marshy oh, muddy wetlands it's an estuary okay I'm gonna have to look that one up later okay but, um, estuary oh. is just a saltwater marsh it's connected to the ocean yeah it's just it's that <laughs> it's that all right 
<laughs> it is that indeed. Anybody else that is deciding to get up? Maybe Prin. Um, Prin sleep. Just kick Samson in the face saying, wake up. <laughs> That'd um, actually be really funny. He definitely, well, yeah, he, he wakes up in the band, uh, a little bit fussy. Um, Still but, fussy from all these damn pirates. Uh, um, and, you know, he wakes up, sits up, realizes that it might be a bit... Are, are the people still like under deck like it's still kind of cramped oh it's this ship's always pretty cramped whether you're above or below deck it's got a so dafty crew have any spa- i'm asking does it have any space to do his morning exercises <laughs> not without getting in somebody's time. way uh, it's not gonna work that. okay well <laughs> he's going to uh, try to do his best he's gonna do like set up since it's the most compacted thing to do right now <laughs> He hits his head on the, on the bed frame. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, he's gonna do that shit. He's gonna get up, uh, put his armor on and shit. And he's gonna slowly just you know, walk out. Uh, I'm assuming he woke up to the sound of land, ho, and shit. Yeah, he so, woke up to the sound of Johnny screaming about being home. Okay. Um, okay, cool. He's gonna be like, He's gonna slowly uh, walk just up to the deck, and he's gonna take a look at the marsh. He said, "Yeah." Yeah, it's a white sandy beach that leads up to what can just barely be described as civilization, which just then gives way to a, an estuary. He's gonna narrow his eyes a little bit. He didn't expect it to look. He didn't. Well, he didn't know what the fuck to expect. So seeing where what he's going to have to like travel through, he's like, he's just not. He's not happy. He's in general not happy. Period. But you know, and you know, he's not good at hiding emotions. So where where are you on the deck, by the way? Um, let me. I guess the white token. Um. Yeah, you're yeah. in the right corner. Oh shit! Am I? You're sleeping. Yeah, where everybody else is. Oh, I thought I was stuck on the with. board. Okay, I'm not even on the board yet. Okay, so. Um, you are. You just zoom out. I am, I am now. Oh, now there's two prints. Wait, okay. What? Oh, Why are there two prints? Print. All right, follow follow this. Oh, I can't remember. Tokens. Two trends. Oh no. Oh, you just uh, click on the token you want to get rid of and hit delete. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. There's two oh, burritos. Uh, How oh, is now they're twice as racist? <laughs> now they're twice as ra- twice the racism, oh, wait, twice would they the classes. Half as racist because each of them. No, it's racism well, and resonance. it de- it it um, depends. Did they okay. duplicate or did they commit mitosis? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that's how they. Know? That's how they reproduce. I can <laughs> delete it. I'll keep it. Uh, so I can do it. That- <laughs> There That's we go. what he meant about his type. His type is himself. Do you reproduce oh, by budding? Well, do you? Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Every time a dragon scale forms off, a new hatchling is born. Was he wobble? <laughs> <laughs> um, that'd be, that'd be dangerous as fuck. Um, so I guess he's gonna just be as far away as everyone as possible. What so, the as fuck? Usual. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna. He doesn't want to be at the end, he, but he wants to be on the side. So he's just gonna be right here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look back and and like m- move my head towards the front of the ship, yeah, looking at you. Gonna be near the can. Where are you, Celeste? I'm at the tip. Oh, <laughs> you're far away. He doesn't notice you. He's not paying attention. What do you mean? <laughs> We're 25 feet away from each other. <laughs> he's not, I mean, he's not gonna look side. There's probably like eight pirates in between. I'm just gonna... His left to look at you. I'm just gonna do a Squidward frown when I see that you're not looking and... <laughs> and look back. Poor Celeste. Look back at the marsh. As that no goes on, through all the commotion, you might 
depending on where you are or how much you might perceive, you hear the sound of a door slam against the wall, and all the noise is overtaken. I FINALLY WERE HOME LINES FOR WEEKS! <laughs> as the captain... Now that wakes me up. As the captain <laughs> is just, like, you know, playfully skipping across the deck, practically, he looks up at the crows and says, Hi, Johnny, we're home! Hi, Captain, we're home! We're home! Ha! <laughs> They're practically all, right, all just cover her ears. screaming the word home. As, you know, the captain starts grabbing ropes, pointing at people, yelling, you know, tie this up, pull that in, turn this direction, turn that direction. Oh, oh. Yeah, but you, you're fast approaching your destination. For better or for worse, this is the first you see of Zanzibar. It don't look so bad. And it wakes up at like the seventh home because I feel like he screamed that for like a good two minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, he <laughs> screamed well. that. Johnny screamed. Another, uh, another crewman screamed. Another one screamed. They just were passing around the word "home" at the top of their lungs. These men are clearly very excited to be back after four weeks out at sea. Nim mutters who released the horde of parakeets and goblin. Yeah, when she says As she wakes up. Uh, as you just see, like, <laughs> as you see a bundle of blankets just lift a couple cots over, and you just hear in goblin, Are we finally there? As you just see a blanket come off and just see friend completely undone and unmade up, just looks over at you. The morning. Uh. Nim gives a half-hearted morning. Morning, everyone. And see, friend starts putting himself together, combing out his hair, tidying up, and quickly kind of like goes off to see if he can help move anything, which. Quickly, he gets overtaken in the moving of stuff around. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid any of the guys moving around the the ship touching me. So I'm, I'm like, standing in this area and just, like, ducking around them. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. The bow's pretty unoccupied. Mostly. Mm. Right, I'll move further up the bow so I don't have to... They don't touch me. Yay. I... I am the queen of the world. Bro, Titanic, this bitch. Somebody toss me, toss me off the front. <laughs> well, if you see it, <laughs> I'd say Prince should do it because he's closest. But Prince doesn't seem like he's into uh, making people happy right now. <laughs> Damn. Print, print about the wild, wild swing me off the fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I have her toss you. <laughs> And them, I need you to do me a favor. <sighs> oh. That, uh, that satchel you got there, that's one of the magic bags, right? Yeah, why? You think I can have that? <laughs> can I have, have, have as in, like, keep? Or have as in borrow? Um... Somewhere in between the two. When I don't <laughs> need it, like it's good stealing. to be yours. I'll have not steal it if I'm asking for your permission. But I keep my things in here. Don't you have anywhere else to keep them? Don't you? I'm doing this for you. And the rest of you. <laughs> for me? <laughs> yeah. What a guy. Listen, listen, I'll treat you to a drink or something. But yesterday you said I couldn't have drinks. What changed within 24 hours? <laughs> I have, you have something I need. Childhood alcoholism is okay as long as I get something from it. 
Well, duh. <laughs> you ever, you ever met a cowboy? Nim thinks for a second. Um, 